we're going to talk about sub-VIs. There are a couple of ways to create a sub-VI. One is to simply make a new VI, and in this case we're going to create a numeric. We're going to create a numeric indicator, and then inside of the program we can do some function. Uh, oh, let's just take and multiply whatever the incoming numeric is times, let's just say 100. We're going to multiply those and we're going to put it to a numeric. Okay. At this point, if we save this, save as, um, I'm going to call this sub VI1. Okay, we almost have a sub VI, and, and, and what it takes to create a sub VI from this is we have to right click here, we have to show the connector, we can change our pattern to something reasonable, we'll do this one, and we attach the inputs and the outputs to the connector plane, and then save this. We have now created this sub VI. If we go to a new VI, drop down some, oh, let's drop down a dial, and we're going to drop down just a numeric indicator here. If we go to our thing, go to select a VI, there's our sub VI1. We're going to drop him down, wire the input and the output to our indicators, come back to the front panel and execute this, what we see is we get the results happening in this window from whatever the knob is and the actual math is being done in the sub VI. Another way to create a sub VI, we're going to delete this one, is to create whatever function we want and in this case let's take we're gonna oh gee let's let's not do that let's do something more interesting let's do say oh we'll do a square root how's that sound we'll do the square root of the input yeah so we'll wire that to here and wire him to here get rid of that stuff i want to create everything within there as a sub vi So, oops, mark him, edit, create sub VI, and notice that we have a new sub VI here that has an input and an output. We're going to file, save this as sub VI2. Okay, we can close this go to the front panel and execute this and you can see that we get the square root of the value. And that's how to deal with simple sub VIs. You can also change certain properties. For instance, you can tell it uh, sub VI no setup. You can open the front panel when it's called and close it again afterwards if you wish to. Uh, there are a number of things that you can set. If you go to the front panel for this, you can also go to the VI properties and you can make execution re-entrant. Re-entrant means that every time the program enters, it's going to make a clone of this, and if one clone is not done before it gets called again, it will create, spawn a new clone for that, uh, for that round of it. That's all for now.